Welcome or welcome back to my channel, y'all. My name is Taylor and I am so happy that you're here. So, y'all, I don't know why I'm so excited, but I am. But you can see by the title of the video that I will be budgeting and cash stuffing for my second paycheck in March. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a few things I need to tweak in my budget. Some things happened that I need to let y'all in on. I got some tea for y'all so let's go ahead and get started but right before I do I just want to say hey hey it's hi 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 one more bus hi 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 boxes hi 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 if you're new Please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join our fam. You already know that we are lit over here and it's free. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. Here we are in my Elevated Life Co. Workbook Duo. Link is down below in the description box if you want to check it out. Here is my budget breakdown for my second paycheck in March. You can see I already did the breakdown, but I did this before what had happened happened. And today is Monday that I'm filming this and I posted a few hours ago on my YouTube community post as well as on Instagram that your girl and her daddy <laughs> paid off my car loan. Yes, y'all. We paid it off. It's a zero balance. I will show you the picture up here. So, things are changing a little bit. So, quick story time. So yesterday, my dad and I called to pay off my car. The payoff quote was $7,308.62. My dad contributed $7,000. I had to pay $308.62. So if you are not new to my channel, you know that I usually split up my monthly car payments in between both paychecks of the month. But what had happened in my first paycheck of March was that I accidentally made the full car payment of $373 instead of making whatever I budgeted for, which is, let me see. Okay, so here's my first paycheck in March. I budgeted $136 towards my car payment. So I was supposed to make a $136 payment towards my car this month but when I went to go make this payment I actually made the full payment on accident so after making that full March car payment I had the seven thousand three oh eight and sixty two cents left like I mentioned I paid three hundred and eight dollars to pay off the car my dad paid seven thousand so that was not budgeted that three hundred and eight dollars was not budgeted I had to take that out of this paycheck. So that is what I will be tweaking with you all in this video because after making that 308 payment, I was like, okay. I basically paid almost $700 towards my car this month when I usually pay 373. So I need to tweak my budget. So let me go ahead and do that with y'all so you can see how I would do it off camera. So let's start off with my income sources. For this paycheck, I have my part-time income, $968, and I also receive money from Lauren's dad, $300. That totals out to $1,268. So the bills that I was going to pay with this paycheck was the remaining of my car, which was $237. But like I said, I already made that payment. So it was actually $0.00 that I paid towards my car for this paycheck. Then I was going to pay half of the second half of April's rent, which was 150. I do live with family, so I only pay $300 a month to contribute to the household bills. I split it up in between both payments of the month, so it was gonna be 150. But because I made that full car payment in my first March paycheck, I did not set aside 150 for rent. So for this paycheck, I will be contributing to the full April rent, which is $300. Hope that makes sense. Next is my dentistry membership, $36. That's going to stay the same. 
tides, $97, that's 10% of my part-time income, that stays the same. And now let's add the $309 that came out of my account to help pay off my car. So we're gonna do car payoff. This was basically unbudgeted, but what I decided to do was instead of take it out of my cushion, budget it into my paycheck because what is in my cushion I would like to stay in my cushion for unexpected expenses which this is but I know I can take care of it in my paycheck so just leave my cushion alone it ain't doing nothing nobody it's just chilling leave it alone so let's go ahead and calculate these actual amounts here I have 300 for rent, 36 for dentist, 97 for tides, and 309 for car payoff. So that's $742 for expenses. So let's subtract the 742 from the 1268. Five hundred and twenty six dollars remaining okay so let's move on to my variable expenses these are the daily expense categories that go into my wallet groceries is going to stay the same I'm going to do 150 everything's going to stay the same household 15 fast food 15 gas 30 y'all already know my gas budget used to be ten dollars a paycheck now it's bumped up to 30 okay Lauren Bear, 15, and so am I, 15. My locks is getting 45. Blessings, $5. And Star Beasy is Bizak with $10, y'all. I'm going to leave my new Starbucks order up here on the screen. It is absolutely amazing. Of course, I got it from TikTok. It's a matcha latte, y'all. That was my first time trying a matcha. And when I tell you, I think I've gotten about four of them since and it's only been like a week and a half. It is absolutely mouth watering. Okay, just get it. Try it. Try the tall to start out. I went with the grande, but try the tall first to start out, then move your way up because I'm I know you're going to love it. So order is up here. Just letting y'all know it's the best drink I've ever had. <laughs> So let's add up these expenses. Actually, I don't need to add them up because they're the same. So the $300 for daily expenses. So let's subtract the 300 from the 526 I had remaining. $226 remaining. And that is way off from the 448 we had. So we're just gonna have to work with half, which is okay make your money enough so for the 2022 savings challenges it's getting 12 this is for the multiply your savings challenge sinking funds is receiving i don't know yet i gotta see so i have 226 remaining i'm literally doing this with y'all minus 12 214 left i'm gonna do the 75 for student loans because that's important 139 remaining i'm gonna do 100 for lawrence college Okay, so that's minus $139 left. So $1 savings is left alone because that is from the leftover money. 100 envelope box is not going to get anything. And then the remaining $39 is going to go towards my sinking funds. Okay, so let's total all of this up. $226 okay and that is what we had remaining from my variable expenses so if I subtract 226 from 226 that of course brings the balance to zero for a zero based budget oh all right y'all so that is my paycheck breakdown for my second paycheck in March we did it okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and actually <laughs> fill out my paycheck denomination spread because I knew I was going to need to tweak the budget and I didn't even do this yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll get to cash stuffing. I'm going to go too fast. I don't care about
I am done filling out my paycheck denomination setup. I was doing this in real time with y'all. So you can see there's a few mistakes, but it is what it is. So in total, I will be stuffing $526. I do not stuff my bills. So the way that I check that this amount is correct is I look at how much money I had remaining after budgeting my bills, which is 526. So we are correct to Mundo. Now, once Lauren Bear wakes up from a nap, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bank with her, get the cash, and then I'll come back. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye. All right, y'all, your girl's back. What we're gonna do is count this cash, and then we're gonna do a quick cash unstuffing in my wallet, and then we'll start the cash stuffing. So let's start with the 50s. I should have $526. I have 50, 100, 150. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, $526. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started with my cash wallet unstuffing. All right, here is my cash wallet. It is the Moterm A7, linked down below in my description box. Er thing is linked down below, remember that. So let's go ahead and see how much money I have remaining from the prior two weeks. So let's start with groceries, nada. Household has money. 15 so this is going to go towards an extra student loan payment remember all of the denominations except for ones get sent to an extra student loan payment my ones go into my one dollar savings jar next is fast food oh your girl has money five dollars extra student loan payment auto has nada you already know the gas situation Lauren Bear has 10, 15. She always has money because she never needs anything, y'all. Never. So extra student loan payment. I have nothing in there. Locks has $45, but this is staying in there until my next lock appointment. And Starbeezy is empty. I brought it back for this paycheck because I missed it <laughs> and blessings has one two and three dollars remaining out of five so this will go towards my one dollar savings and let's see nothing in back to bank I have no receipts to scan and to fetch which is crazy y'all you girl already scanned her receipts i mean can we just give a round of applause because that never happens and then lastly coinage i have a few coins in here i'll put it into my coin jar okay so what i think i'm going to do since the wallet's already here and to save a little bit of time is i'm going to go ahead and stuff the wallet now so let's start with groceries i have 150 dollars it's going to get three 50s. For 150, and I like to give Lauren and I an extra $50 for the second paycheck in the month. So household is receiving 15. That's a 10 and a 5. This is for cleaning supplies, paper products, things like that. Fast food is receiving 15 as well, a 10 and a 5.
And there's a Chick-fil-A gift card in here. I believe it has like $4 left. Auto is receiving $30. It's going to get three tens. One, two, and three for 30 Lauren Bear is next. She's receiving $15, a 10, and a 5, a 15. Locks, oh sorry, T, I'm receiving 15 as well. 10 and 5. And the golden number is 15, y'all. It just works. Locks is receiving 45. Two twenties and a five for forty-five, and this will be added to the forty-five that's already in here for ninety dollars, and that's how much my lock appointment costs every month. My loctician actually told me I only need to come in now every four to six weeks, so I'm gonna go like the five-week mark, maybe the six-week mark, because my hair doesn't usually look bad anymore at the four-week mark, so. Yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. As your hair gets longer and like more mature with the locks, you don't need to go as much. So that's $90 in locks. Star Beezy is receiving 10. It's going to be a $10 bill. And my um, matcha latte costs like $8.13. So the change will just be left in here. Or for a tip, of course. Blessings is receiving $5. Five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and I think that is it. And I this went a lot smoother than when I put the wallet away do the one dollar savings and such and then come back to this like i'm gonna i think i'm gonna stick to this routine okay everything is all stuffed and ready to be spent now we're gonna move on to my one dollar savings and coins okay and here is my one dollar savings jar where the money resides link is down below and out of the leftover money i had from my wallet there was three dollars remaining one two and three so we're just gonna stuff this in there and what i like to do with this challenge same thing i did last year was i save all my ones until the end of the year for the entire year and then it goes towards something last year it was to our home savings and for this year i'm not sure it may be to our home or it may be to student no it ain't gonna be to no student loans nope sorry nada Y'all <laughs> let me know what it should go to. Not student loans, so. <laughs> okay, let's move on into the coins. And here is my coin jar. Still broken, y'all. I forget about it once I film a video. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it like this. And let's get all the coins out of the zippy pouches not a lot of coins but it's enough so we have about three silvers in there and we're, honestly I could just put it through this hole here <laughs> ghetto <laughs> alright y'all so that is the coin that's what we're looking like right now not too bad for 2022 so before I move on into my sinking funds, I wanted to show y'all these two cute coin boxes that a supporter of mine sent me. Her name is Danita, y'all. She is the bomb.com. She is just such an amazing supporter. I went to my P.O. box not too long ago and saw these in there. And I I just messaged her on Instagram. I was like, girl, you are just too cute. So she said that she knows I love my Starbucks and I think she said my gum. Y'all know I love my double bubble gum. It is what it is. I probably should show y'all my double bubble stash, but y'all would probably just be pissed at me because I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Danita. I want to use these for my um 
my coins but Lauren Bear saw this girl Lauren Bear saw this and she was she has plans for this okay so we'll see my brother also loves coffee um, and like anything Starbucks so I may give this to him so he can like stash his coins in there but we'll see Lauren Bear already has um, claimed at least one of these so anyway but thank you so much Danita I just wanted to go ahead and shout you out girl thank you okay let's go on into my sinking funds and here is my high priority slash adulting sinking funds binder now y'all saw the budget I only have $39 to dedicate to sinking funds so what I decided to do was stuff two of my high priority sinking funds and that's it my last video I did an extra stuffing from money that was sitting in my checking account cushion and my low priority binder got some love so it's doing good it's sitting pretty we ain't gonna pay her no mind no mind <laughs> no mind <laughs> okay so for high priority we are stuffing let's see health yes health is receiving $19 gonna be a 10 a 5 and four ones one two three four ten fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen okay let's go ahead and load up health oh put it like that so health now has 1, 2, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 325, 26, 27, 28, 29. 329 dollars. Not so shabby. And next is Lawrence College. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, Lawrence College. That's receiving $100. It's going to get five twenties. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And this is aside from the sinking funds budget of $39. So just letting y'all know. I just said $39 and then y'all see me putting in $100 in here. <laughs> this is separate. Let me go ahead and get my calculator out because y'all know. Your girl has short term memory when it comes to counting. So I have one, two, three, four thousand, five, six, seven, I'm just gonna do seven, <laughs> fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one thirty, one fifty, one seventy, one ninety, two ten, two fifteen, two twenty, two twenty one. Four thousand nine hundred and twenty-one dollars in Lauren Bear's college. Ooh, she is almost almost to five k, y'all, which is absolutely incredible. So let's see. Our home is next. It is receiving twenty dollars. And our home now has. One, two, three, four thousand. One, two, two twenty, two forty, two sixty, two seventy, two seventy five, two seventy seven. Four thousand two hundred and seventy seven dollars. I really didn't need to use a calculator for that, but uh, <laughs> better be safe than sorry, y'all. Okay, next is going to be student loans. It's receiving 75. That's going to be three 20s. One, two, three, a 10, a 5, and that's it. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. And my monthly contribution to my student loans is 365, y'all. So this is just a part of that. So student loans has one, two, three, four, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety, 
Pretty darn good. Y'all, it is crazy. I feel like I'm saving up or paying off student loans so quick. Like $580 already or $85. Like, whoa. Y'all should have seen me last year. I was like, $5. <laughs> anyway, okay, and that's it. That's it for my sinking funds, y'all. Quick. And now we're going to move on into my Multiply Your Savings Challenge, which is in my 2022 Savings Challenge book. And then we're done, y'all. All right, let's go. And here is my 2022 Savings Challenge book. Link down below in my description box if you want to check it out. In this book, you save over $20,000, but I also have a Low Income Savings Challenge book. One second. And you save about 8,000. So these are sisters, same looking challenges, higher numbers, lower numbers. So both books are down below in my uh, description box. Y'all, there's a fly going around. But anyway, with my bi-weekly paychecks, I only stuff the first challenge. This is the 52 week challenge, multiply your savings. If you're new with this challenge, you choose a number between 1 and 10. That is your chosen number for the year. Or if you want to switch it up every quarter, do you, you know, it's yours. So with your chosen number, I have given you the number of the week. There are 52 weeks in the year, so there are 52 numbers. For this paycheck, we are doing weeks 11 and 12. So my chosen number, you can see, is 2. Okay, so for week 11, it's going to be 2 times 1, which is 2, and then 12, 2 times 5, which is 10. So 10 plus 2 is 12, and we have 10 and 2, 5, 10, 11, and 12. And let me bring out my savings challenges, cash envelopes. These are also linked down below in my description box. I do sell these in my shop. I have the black zippers as well as the clear zippers and they come in a set of 12 for the 12 challenges in the book. Okay, so let's see how much is in there now. I now have 1, 120, 140, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 64. $164 in this challenge and $64 in this challenge yes and since this completes March I'm gonna go ahead and turn around to my tracker this is where I track the monthly savings and I feel like it's blurry all right y'all so unfortunately I thought my behind I thought I was recording for the last five minutes and I wasn't. So when I ended the video, <laughs> I was like, my mouth was just open like, ugh. So here we are, rewinding. So basically what I was saying <laughs> was that I am tracking my monthly savings in the savings tracker. And since that $12 that I just stuffed in my multiplier savings challenge was for the end of March or for the last paycheck in March, I can go ahead and calculate the total that I saved and mark it for March. So it was $164 as y'all can see here now in my multiply your savings challenge. Okay. And then what I was saying <laughs> was that I was going to end the video and then I realized I had this money sitting here that was left over from my cash envelopes that I was going to put into my si into my student loan sinking fund. So, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> okay. So, let's move to the student loan sinking fund. And remember, all of the ones that are left over in my cash wallet go to my $1 savings. Everything else goes towards an extra student loan payment. So there's 10, 20, 25, 30, $35. So let's go ahead and add that in. Every little bit counts. One, 
2, 3, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 540, 550, 560, 570, 580, 585, 590, 595, 600, 510, and 15. 615 dollars y'all boom into student loans it's crazy how much more i'm saving compared to last year just by setting a savings limit or a savings goal every month so that's awesome all right y'all that is the end of the video <laughs> I really, really hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. Y'all already know I love y'all so much. I'm working on a giveaway. I posted on my community post what y'all would like for giveaway prizes. A lot of y'all said budgeting supplies and the savings challenge book. So I will be incorporating that in my next giveaway. All right, y'all. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next video.